Playing the role of the villain was always a challenge for actor Mark Eden in his early career. As the baddie, he relished the opportunity to take on a saint. Just a little too clever this time, Mr. Templar. I think the baddie is always the best part. Alan Bradley was probably the, the, the worst baddie they ever had on the street. He was awful, psychopathic kind of uh, person. Mark joined the Coronation Street cast in 1986, and for the next three years, the character Alan Bradley pursued a campaign of terror and violence against the women in his life. I'm getting a bit tired of you and your little games. I asked to leave the street. When I asked them about it, they were a bit annoyed, but they decided to kill me off. I realised that, and I thought, well, go for it, you know, because it was a great storyline. And I went out with a bang. No customers, just you and me, OK? Oh! Come here, you... When Barbara knew I was going, she was distraught. Um, because she enjoyed... We, we enjoyed working with each other. That, it was as simple as that. Get in the car! Go back, you stupid bitch! I can remember lying there and all these people coming and the director saying, cut, brilliant, that's it, wrap everybody and you suddenly think, it's all over. Four years, you know, that's it. Got up off the pavement, all the extras looked at their watches, all the lads started de-rigging and all that, you know, and you think, oh, OK. Keep all of it, you. The character, Alan Bradley, may well have been a psychopathic villain, but in real life, Mark was regarded as anything but a villain by his soon-to-be wife, street star Sue Nichols. What are you doing, Alf? Don't get involved. We'd only just met when, when we both went into the street, and then we spent four years literally living in each other's pockets. Aren't you bothering to go and look, eh? Happen you already know what they're going to find? We, you know, we were in the same flat, we got up at the same time every morning, we went to work together, we came back together, we took each other through our lines, it was wonderful. Sue and Mark married during their time on the street. When Mark left the programme, Sue encouraged him to take up writing. Mark now spends the majority of the time they're apart researching and writing at their London home. So I started to write a uh, thing, I wrote a, I wrote a fast because I heard that that was the most difficult thing to write. I've had a limited success. I've had, uh, I wrote a musical with my son about William Hogarth, uh, which was done at the, uh, the Bridewell Theatre in, in City. And that went terribly well. Mark was also given the idea for a book which would investigate the background to the story of the 1920s Thompson Bywater murder. After months of work and with the help from several friends, he has now successfully completed and published the book Letters from a Suburban Housewife. It was difficult for me because I'd never written a book before, but I had an enormous amount of help. Is it annoying that, you know, people only know you could have been run over by a tram? Um, a little bit, yeah, because, you know, I've done, uh, in my life, I've been in the business 45 years now, oh. and I've done an awful lot of things in there. Yeah. So I feel I have left the street. I've, I've broken the umbilical cord uh, that I had, but I, I, I do watch it, and I, I am, I'm very protective when, when people criticise it. Um, uh, I criticise it myself because I think sometimes uh, the writing is, is not very good sometimes, perhaps the acting's not very good sometimes. But when it's really good, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> 